Hey YouTube, Brian here. Just want to do a little video on uh, how I acclimate my fish. I just went and picked up a new bushy nose placo today. It's pretty cool. He's good size. He's probably uh, I don't know two and a half inches maybe, but he's he's got a nice mustache. I like that. I'd like to think that he's gonna scrub my tank with it, but. They, they do a good job cleaning the tank. But uh, what I do is uh, I get them. I come in and I plop them in the, in the water like most people do. Kind of get the temperature up to par. And while I'm doing that, I set up this little drip line right here. Works pretty good. I like to act. Some of them are a little more tricky to acclimate, I think. Um, this Placo here. Um, I like to acclimate him slowly because he's in a going in a ta African cichlid tank, which is you know the pH is up there and whatnot. But um, so, anyways, all I do is uh, that's just an air stone on the other end of it. It's just the the hose, the regular hose that you would use with the air stone, and then uh, I just got that in a bucket. And uh, what? What I do is uh, I just tie a knot on the end of it. You can buy little valves, but it's got a little knot on the end of it. As you can see, it dripping. Oh, stop dripping when I pick it up because it's gravity fed. But so he's been in there for probably I don't know 15 minutes or so. I'll just put them in the dump them right in there. Now with that guy, what I'll probably do is uh I don't know if you can see it. There's a piece of slate right there. That's got some nice algae on it. So I'll probably just go in there and grab that. I'll stick that in the bucket. Give him something to nibble on while he's in the waiting room. You know how boring he can be sitting in the waiting room. Okay. He's in there. He might find his way over to it. But he's in there. There's a rock. He might go over to that and start sucking on that. I'll probably leave him in here for about half hour, 45 minutes or so, give or take. Mess with the drip a little bit. Then just scoop him out of that. Of course, you gotta be careful. I'll probably use a cup. Um, getting stuck on the on the net spines and whatnot but anyways got a nice little drip going on there doesn't really interfere with the other guys and uh tank's cloudy i just did a uh i don't know a, a good 30 to 40 percent water change um just a few hours ago before i went and got this guy so that's clearing up and uh of course it don't take long with that Fluval FX5, the thing's a beast. I love it. Good good filtration. But anyways, uh once everything clears up, I get him in there. I'll be doing another update on uh the new peacocks I got the other day. They're doing pretty good. But uh anyways. That's that. Do an update later. Thanks for watching.